Hey Knitters, it's Wednesday. I have a feeling this video is probably going to be pretty long, so I'm just going to warn you now. Um, if you guys didn't notice on Twitter, I don't know if you guys follow us or whatever, but Jenny posted a link to a blog on the Knitting Ning, and I'll put a link in the sidebar about why she didn't post a video on Wednesday, I mean on, Mon on Monday. Um, basically, she her computer is still like freaking out and she's had a lot of like craziness going on. And I think like, you know, this week is like finals and stuff so I'm sure that she has a lot going on. So we definitely just like send uh, her our positive messages, positive vibes or whatever, I don't know. And um, we hope that all this gets worked out by next Monday and um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in that I don't think she should be punished for this and or what was going on last week either I haven't really been feeling very well I think I might have a sinus infection because I've just kind of like on and off been feeling kind of crappy so I think I was a little mean <laughs> last week and I'm sorry um, and I think as far as the rules go like I do think we've been being very like you know lax on them but I think for the most part the stuff that we not we're not punishing people for is stuff that they really can't control like it'd be different if Jenny was just like I don't feel like making a video or you know like oh I forgot or any of us really but I think whenever we haven't been able to make a video it was reasons beyond our control so maybe that should be put into the rules that uh, things that we can't control should not be punishable. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Enough on that. I will talk about knitting now. I've been knitting like craziness. Like, seriously, the past like three or four days, I cannot stop myself from knitting like constantly. Where did it go? Um, I knit this, which is a dishcloth dress, and you hang it like on your soap um, in your, you know, by your sink, and because, uh, Brittany and I, my roommate, who I live with now, um, are moving to a new place that's, like, more, like, a house and not so much an apartment, so, like, we're getting all excited about decorating and stuff, so I made this, and it's out of, um, I think it's called sugar and cream, like, cotton yarn, and I'm gonna make a few more, and probably just some regular square ones, too. And for some reason, I, I've i never done this pattern before, and it took me forever to figure out. It was basically like a series of knit two together and yarn overs, but whenever I did, the, like, did those rows, I always ended up with like six extra stitches, and so it was getting humongous, and I had to like rip it out like four different times, and finally I just added some decreases in there. But I don't know why whenever I did yarn overs, I ended up with more stitches because the knit twos together are supposed to like fix that. Do you guys have any ideas of why that happened? I don't know. I can, um, if you go on my Ravelry, I'll put a link in the sidebar, you can see the pattern for yourself and see if maybe there was something that I wasn't doing right. I don't know. Um, and then I also worked a lot on my Plarn and I have a one panel completed and um, so that's gonna be like one side and then I'm gonna do another one this size and then I'm gonna do like you know two skinny pieces for the side and for the bottom and then handles I, and I'm not sure I don't I'm not following a pattern I'm just kinda making it up and I don't really know if I'm gonna do plarn for the handles I don't know if that would really be strong enough I'm thinking but I might. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And so I started the next panel, and I'm working on circular needles, so it's kind of all over the place right now. <laughs> um, because it was getting on the just straight needles, it, all the stitches were really close together, and I couldn't really work it out. So this, you can stretch it out more on the circular needles. So there's that. So I've, like, been looking at Ravelry, like, constantly for like ideas for things I can make for like my new place because I'm gonna be moving at the end of July so yeah um and I've also been looking at I'm sure you guys have heard of Etsy.com I guess that's how you say it it's like where you it's kind of like eBay but for like handmade items 
and I've become obsessed with that website. I'll put a link in the sidebar to that too. But like, seriously, I cannot stop looking at like just art and getting ideas for stuff and I'm just like obsessed. Moving on. Um, I was at Goodwill the other day and whenever I'm at Goodwill I always look for yarn, but I didn't find any yarn. I found some knitting needles. And they're blue and pink, size 10 and 7. But they're plastic and I've never worked with plastic needles before. But I figured, hey, they're cheap, I'm going to buy them anyway. So, um, <laughs> there's my little story about that. Last week I didn't have a dye because I left mine in Valdosta, where my apartment is. So this week I made a new one, and I figured I would make it all fun. So, it's purple, and all of the sides have different yarny stuff. So one is a ball of yarn, and two is knitting needles, and three is yarn. Four is double pointed needles, five is stitch markers, and six is socks. And like, the stitch markers are basically just like circles, they don't look too fabulous. Um, but I thought it was cool. So my, hmm, my question is, since I got those knitting needles at Goodwill, what is the best thing you've ever found at a thrift store or, you know, Goodwill or whatever? And it doesn't necessarily mean that you had to buy it, just something like totally awesome that you found that would just pwned everything that else in the store. Six, five, two, Danny. Hey subscriber, Anna, Elizabeth02, or just Anna, I guess is your name. Did you get my... The subscriber prizes leave me a comment let me know and everyone else leave comments and rate and subscribe I'm really bad at directions on YouTube sorry um one more thing talking about subscribers I was on Ravelry the other day and um, I was looking at swaps and for anyone who doesn't know what a swap is it's basically where you like join a group and you swap things. So like you send one person, the person who's in charge of the group, your address and then they mix it up. It's kind of like, you know, you get a surprise thing. And usually there's some kind of theme, like they have just yarn swaps or just like knitting needle sh swaps or whatever. And they have ones online that aren't knitting related. And I thought this was really cool. And um, I was thinking maybe we could do like a 5AK swap. And basically I was thinking we should make it like a really small budget like five dollars or less and like just an assortment of things we could do a theme if you want but I was just thinking really small things that would fit in like a small envelope so that shipping isn't too much and just like you know stitch markers buttons like stickers just really just random stuff and like they they could be knitting related and, and or not you know whatever so if you guys want to do a five awesome knitters swap um, subscribers, knitters, whatever, just uh, let me know in the comments. And maybe if we get enough people we could do it, and if not, that's cool. I just thought it was a cool idea. So let me know what you guys think about that. And this video has gone on entirely too long, so I am going to stop talking now. <laughs> and I will see Michael tomorrow. Bye!